here I am. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Stamp with Vicki. I'm Vicki, of course, and tonight we're going to do it a little bit different. Um, I know there's going to be some echoes and we're going to wobble a little bit, but I wanted to give you a tour of my stamping room. Um, it's my happy place and everybody's always asking me about, oh, how do you organize this? And organization is such a hot topic when we're crafting. So, I just thought it'd be fun to do something different before the new ho holiday catalog comes out next week. Uh, so I'm going to have you come on in and when you enter, you'll see I have the, um, gosh, where are those things? Little flowers. <laughs> I made that a while ago and that's how you know you've entered the uh, world of Stampy Land. Chevy says hi, by the way. Hi, Chev. How are you, buddy? Winston says hi. Winston, <laughs> say hi. Hi, Chev. <laughs> okay. So Winston's probably not his only appearance tonight. And in fact, the first thing that I want to show you is what's the most important thing in this room, hands down, no matter all my things or what, is Winston's toy box. That's where he gets all of his squeaky toys when, um, when you guys are listening on the lives and I forget to pick them up. That's where he gets them and, you know, see all the non-squeakies? He's still going to find the squeaky. Um, let's see. So on my wall here, well, I guess first of all, the paint color is Swimming by Sherman Williams, just a fun aqua color. Uh, blue is supposed to be good for creativity, so I don't know. I think it helps. <laughs> um, if you're watching, definitely say hi. I can peek in here and there on my computer. Um, hey, Kristen. Hey, Sonia. And hey, Jessica. How are you? Um, glad you guys are here. Um, anyway, when I left Virginia Beach, my friends gave me some well wishes and my favorite song. Um, just a fun, a few fun things. This is special to me and my friends here, um, we found our tribe. So we, uh, yeah, they made that for me and it matched perfectly. Really here is, it's not organized, but it kind of is. It's usually, or it's really things that need to be sold or I need to donate or something. It's all discontinued items. Um, I know we all have stashes of those and you really haven't seen my closet yet, so I have more. Um, I do have a TV and I suppose one day we probably will hang it. We're probably not gonna hang it on the wall, probably just get a better <laughs> bookcase. <laughs> we're gonna clean this mess up a little bit. Um, but I usually will watch HGTV if I'm not watching something on YouTube or one of the other demonstrators. Um, I just want to say, let me know if you guys have any questions or anything like that. This is where I'm going to check in. Bill's going to kind of let me know too. He is being a good sport tonight. <laughs> um, okay, so now getting into the nitty gritty of everything. So this is Steve. Hello, Steve. <laughs> uh, I can't take the credit for the name that came from my friend Pam, but he's my Steve just the same. And Steve houses all of the crafty goodness. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you a few doors, uh, what's inside a few doors of Steve. And if you want to know, I did get him at Ikea. He is um, a, a, the best of um, products. These doors are no longer available, so, but they do still have the same cabinets and stuff. And you can arrange them any way you want to and rearrange them like I often do. Um, okay, so um, what's the best for you? Hi, Bill. Thanks for filming. I'm getting, I'm getting support. That's what Bill I'm getting. Stampy land. I know, Kristen. He ventures in every now and again. Mm. <laughs> okay. So what's the most important thing in here is my bucket of chocolate. <laughs> I still have many eggs from Easter. Lindor truffles and some Dove chocolates. So never really at a loss for some good uh, snacks when I'm stamping. Um, up here is just miscellaneous stuff I uh, used. Um, these are kits that I have and I have one of the um, parts up there up there and I can switch it out. You have to. Sorry. Sorry. Um, okay. So anyway, I have these little drawers. One thing that you can do when you're looking for uh, storage containers or storage, um, you know, uh, whatever, drawers or boxes is go to the bathroom section of the stores. Um, so you can go to Target. One of my favorites is 
well, Home Goods slash TJ Maxx, however that works out for you and you're in your area. Um, those are probably the places where I get a lot of my things. Um, I actually did get this online just because I think it popped up somewhere and I saw it and I clicked on it. Um, but in here I have all my stamping spots, um, excuse me, for my paper pumpkins. I have my, my, my glimmer paints. My extra stamping trimmer blades. Shh. Yes, I do have some. And I. this is also where I keep my blender pens, any extra Wink of Stella. I have a handful of extra markers that are um, not in the cases. They're just, I got them randomly. Um, some of them I've had for years and they still work. I have two, two cases of markers in there. I know that's gonna be kind of hard for you guys to see. Um, I have watercolor pencils and all the tools to go with watercolor pencils. Again, I got this, I think at Target maybe, in the bathroom section, and it's just pencil sharpeners, stapler, you know, all the stuff that you need. Um, <laughs> I also have a fur roller. Um, okay, so then you can just open it some more. And every year I seem to, when I, the new occasions or holiday catalog comes out, I think I store it all in a different way every time. This might be my favorite, but I don't have everything yet, so, or everything I want yet. Um, so I, I might have to expand it and, um, try and figure it out a little bit better. But for now, this is what I have on here from the new holiday catalog. Um, whatever you see in there, you can see, that's fine. You just can't see inside the catalog. I have some coffin boxes, um, snowman goodies, some ribbons, a few stamp sets, and some punches. Um, and I'll keep all of that separate from all of my annual catalog supplies so that when that goes away, I can just sadly pack it up in a box and put it in my closet <laughs> until I'm ready to, to release it. Um, okay, paper storage, another biggie. Uh, paper storage, these are old, but they're just magazine holders. Or, well, they, I think they're actually meant to be paper storage from Stampin' Up! at one time. Um, many companies make them, again, just a magazine holder. And here I have them separated into color families. Um, you know, regals, subtles, brights, neutrals, and in colors. And then I have some extra whisper white, vellum, glimmer, shimmer, paper, or something like that. Um, but that's where I kind of keep a lot of my stash. I always make sure there's one of every color in there. It doesn't have to be a full thing, because I don't use a full thing even in a year sometimes, but um, I always make sure I have every color in there, because that's how I know well, that, and I'll show you in a minute, I have another drawer where I have extras. Um, hi, Wynn. <laughs> All right. Watch out, bud. So in here, we get, I don't know that this is the best use of, use of space. I have some more down there. But we get all of these chipboard pieces um, sometimes in our DSP. At least we used to. Now it's a different kind. I do keep those. I keep many of them anyway. Um, cause you never know when you're going to need one, you know, when you have to mail something, um, cause you know, our cards are flexible. So if you need a sturdy bag, there you go. And then this, I'm really showing you everything. This is where I spray my shimmer mist. So I, um, I have a bottle up on my table. I'll show you. And the inside of this box is really shimmery and lovely. <laughs> you can see that, but, um, I just keep that in there because that's where I go so I obviously don't get my spray everywhere. This is just old, old, old um, scraps. And so more of the same. Come back up. Want to know what's not the best use of space, but is really pretty? Watch out, Bubba. Is that. So in here, I do have a couple of scrapbooks that I've made over the years. And I, I bought this at Hobby Lobby or something one time. And I can't figure out really what to put in there because it's so tall. I can't really see into it. So I have a million bottles of stickles that I haven't used. But I should use. Um, 
and oh, some you know different kinds of crystals and glimmer. But <laughs> anyway, so I don't really use this much. It's again not the wisest use of space, but it's pretty. And um, little kitty cat, Bill gave me him for Christmas one year. I think we thought it was for corks, but it's actually a bank. Corks, banks, you know, it's all the same. Okay, down here, um, as you can see, I decorate as I go here. Um, so on this half of Steve, Steve is actually in two parts. You'll see the other part of Steve in a minute. Um, these are some of my stamps from the annual catalog. I know I said some, um, and they are in alphabetical order. Um, so over here right now, I have abstract impressions down to love you to pieces. The other half is in the other side of Steve. Um, and towards the end of the Stampin' Up year, I kind of grew out of Steve and I put some on the side of my table, but not that, not that many. Now, let's see, Bill's gonna learn all my secrets that I have as far as... You, know. you think they're secrets. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Kristen, it was a fun sparkly thought. Um, okay, so down here I have everything. Um, again, these actually are from Crapper Hopper. Uh, which I think you can still buy them. I'm pretty sure I just bought some of these online um, on Amazon. And I have them separated into window sheets, glimmer paper, foil sheets, and current DSP. It really seems like a lot of DSP, but anyway. Um, another place I get a lot of my stamping um, product storage is Stampin' Storage. It's a company, it's a small company based out of Minnesota, I believe, and it's a guy who was making his wife some things, working in the garage, and then they, you know, open it up, and and they're very popular. I don't know if Lisa Harden isn't on here today, I don't think. she. I know she has some of these pieces. Um, they're made for Stampin' Up! products and some other companies as well, but, you know, they'll say exactly for Stampin' Up!, for Ikea Calax, for Stampin' Up!, so it fits those whatever size those, those squares are. It's not this um, set. Um, anyway, so I don't know if you can zoom in down here. Mm -hmm. I can pull it out. This is the six by six paper holder. You guys, I just bought this. I needed it so bad because I just had no place to put my six by sixes and I was trying in these little guys. I've tried it a lot of different places and I finally, you know, I just was gonna save the money and not spend it on that, but I'm so happy I did. Uh, and I also have extra paper pumpkin envelopes in there, but so this is, I mean, very perfectly flat, whatever that name is. It's been a godsend. I'm really happy for it, and um, I'm going to get a lot of use out of it, so it's all good. I've squished in my Magnolia bundle, Magnolia Lane specialty cards. Squish those right in here. Um, envelopes, I try and keep white on hand, well, and vanilla, but I, I really only use vanilla maybe in the fall or at Christmas time. We used to have the best, like, uh, crumb cake color. I don't have them anymore. Um, and down here is the same kind of box, and that's full of adhesive refills. So there's glue dots in there, snail refill, tear and tape, the green glue tape, all kinds of stuff, mostly Stampin' Up. Okay. So that's that. Down here, there's nothing. Yeah, just kind of stuff. Pens and reinkers and stuff for my labeler. So nothing too exciting. But in here, this is the other place I keep, this is where I keep the excess of my current stamping uh, card stock. This is not current, but everything else is. Um, so if I'm low up there, I usually will start to get refills, you know, an extra pack and keep it down here. And then when this goes up there, I'll, you know, replenish. But you'll notice I had, I think, that you know, well, now. Sometimes I'll have two of the main colors. I always have a lot of crumb cake, white and vanilla. Um, Real red is one I'll get a lot of. Night of Navy. Um, that also kind of just goes along with the season. So if you want to kind of peek on top, I don't know if you can 
get up there, Bill. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, that's just fun stuff. Um, we made the mermaid before I left Virginia Beach. And ironically, I'm not even a fan of mermaids, but we painted that in the be at the beach as well, and I love her. She's my favorite. Um, so just some fun stuff I find here and there. Lots of times at Home Goods, lots of times just random places. Um, Pepsi, you want to do this? Okay, we're going to go this way. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Oh, this, I got this today. Let me just double check. Okay. All right, so I got this today. It's And it's from Magnolia Market. How awesome is that? Uh, don't stop until you're proud. I'm really trying to... Uh, make silver elite now, so I'm not gonna stop until I'm proud. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right, so this is a Billy bookcase from Ikea. Hi, Lynn. And this is my, um, this is where it happens, right here, for the most part. Um, when I'm working on cards and cutting up and I have bits and pieces, I put the scraps in here, but down here, I have a file box, and each file folder has a different colored cardstock, and those are also scraps. So every now and again, I'll go through this when it gets full, and I'll sort it and organize it and put the um, colors down into their appropriate folders. And so a lot of times I'll know what I have extra. I know I have a lot of Night and Navy. I have tons of pool party down there, um, crumb cake. Uh, cherry cobbler so I know usually I'll go down there if I'm if I don't need a whole half a card or a whole card and try and obviously use as many of my scraps as I can I have finally learned you know I don't know maybe I don't keep too many that are smaller than about three by five or so except white white I keep white um, so these are another home goods buy. Um, I have another one on my table I'll show you in a little bit. This is more for like the working adhesives. Don't you guys miss the two-way glue? Stampin' up, bring it back, please. Um, my biggest block, and this is where my dimensionals, for the most part, live. I, I love those little containers. I, I would love to find more, that, just a random find. So this is how I'm storing my um, multi-liquid glue, whatever that's called, the green glue. Um, I got these on Etsy, and I could get you the link if you want it. Um, I don't remember what they're called, but that's what you do with it, so that the ink or the glue is already at the bottom or the tip. Um, and it really is quite useful. And they were inexpensive, they were well-priced. Um, Okay, I have my my stamp and pierce mask for when I'm using my um, photopolymer stamps. A lot of times they just live on the table, at least one of them, or really they kind of float around wherever I toss them. They that's where they go. <laughs> it, it's usually up here somewhere. And then my white scraps again. I do have some very vanilla in here as well. But when I'm doing sentiments and things like that, this is where I usually will go. Um, and that's been great. And again, like a makeup <laughs> container. Kristen said you can use a shot glass instead of your Etsy find. <laughs> I don't. Oh, that's a good idea, Kristen. I might use the shot glass for other things. <laughs> Clearly, Kristen has plenty of shot glasses <laughs> around the house. She's got some, some to spare. <laughs> Um, oh, this is my cute little ghost I made last weekend. Isn't he adorable? The easiest guy I could ever make. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Here, this is my Dymo labeler. Um, I think I have, so I assume we can get different sizes, but if you're a demonstrator, this is pretty handy. I haven't used it quite in bulk yet, but, but I have used it for numerous things and it, and it is nice. It's fast, super fast. Um, anyway, I just made uh, stickers for my, what? Oh, him? <laughs> I don't know, buddy. Um, I made stickers for my, with my contact information for the catalogs and whatever else I might be handing out, kind of address labels that are like the size of my forehead. 
I'm not sure I'll use those very often. Um, sometimes you just have a bunch of stuff and that's really what these are. Again, I found these in the bathroom section at Target, um, like where you find the towels and stuff. I, I don't know, it's just for toiletries, I guess. These are cool. Um, they open. I used to have my um, adhesives in one and my stamping blocks in the other, and that worked great, and then I outgrew them. So it's, it's kind of nice, actually, to have them with all the little um, boxes separated so I can just toss them in, them things in there and know what kind of junk I have. I mean, um, you know, safety pins for my board. Fast Fuse, which will always be with me. I use Fast Fuse more for clothes than I do anything else to hold things up, socks, you know, you never, you name it. Okay, extra stuff, extra stuff, extra stuff. That's not usually here. I went last weekend um, to an event and I just haven't unpacked it. This is kind of a new thing. So what this is, and you can see I've actually, it was stuffed full. I've actually used a lot of it. This box is from Ikea and it comes with two other little mini boxes that sit inside. And I know Kristen, if you're still there, that you have a few of these. Um, I cut down about 10 of most, if not all of the colors. And I cut them down to uh, five and was it five and a half by eight and a half, whatever this, yeah, five and a half by eight and a half so that it's just a standard card size. You know, half a sheet of cardstock is what it is. Um, anyway, so you can see it's all in rainbow order. Thank you, Patty Bennett. I'm, I'm working on the rainbow. Um, but I, I like it, it's kind of neat. I, it, it's new for me not having everything in order <laughs> in the color families. Um, it has some thick white here. I usually just have Whisper White hanging out right there because I use so much of it and I have some cut I'll show you in a minute. Um, next, this is, if I, I just write random notes and things like that and kind of businessy sorts of things, that's all what that is and then some extra paper, um, just scrap paper that I can use to stamp. Catalogs, sometimes they move. This is, this is all parts and pieces from cards that I have made and I made extra things or I've tried things and they haven't worked. So I think one day I kind of want to go back and just see what I can make out of all of what's in there. It is such a hodgepodge of stuff. Or I'll throw it away. I don't know what I'll do. I haven't thrown it away yet. Um, here is, that's my current ribbon. I have a lot of retired ribbon and that's a little sad, <laughs> but um, here's the current ribbon that I have so far besides the, um, the ribbon from the holiday catalog. That's all from the annual catalog. This stuff is not current. This is all old. Some of it's cards, um, some of it's way old projects that I've made over the years and kind of wanted to keep. Stampin' Up, does anybody remember when Stampin' Up had the big background letter stamps and they had the whole alphabet? I guess it was just about the whole alphabet, still. I, I need to see a therapist about that. Um, okay, uh, I do have a stool, and actually what I do with this, when I'm taking my pictures, I'll put the cards on the table, and I usually, and kind of laying them down most of the time and so I, it just brings me up so I can stand higher and take the photo down. So I do keep that handy. It doesn't look the best, but it's certainly functional. Um, best box ever. I know, Kristen, those are fantastic. Um, okay, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. Do you wanna stay there? Is that, maybe you can kind of come around. We're, we're trying to, we talked about this a little bit, but now I'm changing everything up. So, this is my my stamping table. This is where the magic happens. Um, okay, this guy has been with me for a very long time. Got it at Michael's, and they still sell a version of it. At least I think they do. Um, you can see I have aqua painters, spritzers, scissors, pens, nail file, 
<laughs> liquid stuff. So Saison cleaner, Stampin' Mist, water and alcohol because maybe that's water too. I don't know. Um, miscellaneous tools that I use to pry stamp images off when I, you know, misadhere them <laughs> and things like that. I have like an exacto knife. The brushes are for embossing. I just found another one today. That's kind of cool. So vintage Stampin' Up. Fine tip blue pen. I don't really use it, guys. Um, uh, rulers. Ribbon scissors. And this ruler has been with me since at least high school, maybe college. Very long time. It's turning yellow. Um, there's not a whole lot of drawers, just they're too small. But that's where I stash everything. I know that it's there and it's been there for years. Um, but recently, so I don't always have to reach in here, I have put in the most used things in this little guy. Um, so there's a link of Stella, the aqua painters, a blender pen, two pairs of scissors. My um, bone folders live in there at least one, a brush, a pen, and the take your pick tool, and tweezers. Those are the my most used tools. So anything else I can get up and get, but if I'm gonna make a card, chances are I'm using these tools um, on that card most of the time. Um, reading glasses, because I'm old. <laughs> so this is another one of those containers. So in here, I do have dimensionals here because it's just easier than reaching behind myself. Um, this is the white card stuff I have cut. So these are three and three quarters by five, four by five and a quarter. Um, so it's like the first layer on top of a card base. And these are just extra from something. It's not a specific dimension. Um, and this is our new watercolor paper, and it actually fits in there perfectly. So that's how it comes now. Um, obviously, it's been opened. So it, it works great. So I've been leaving this here, and that seems to be working well because as I'm trying to stamp images or play with things, I just grab the white, grab the white, grab the white. Probably these, these two things are my most used. Um, okay, so... Because I just don't know where to put it, well, I'll have my shimmer paint and then the alcohol shimmer, you know, hence the box for ink paint. It just kind of lives there for absolutely no reason. Um, this is where I do my lives. It's the Archon Mount. Um, Janet Wakelin, I guess she teamed up with um, Archon, and it's the remarkably created uh, Archon Mount, um, you know, for stamping, for crafting videos people who do shoot food, um, anything like that, jewelry, I suppose. Um, so I plug in my phone here, and that's what you usually see. I got this um, on Etsy. It's, it's a photo backdrop, and it's, I guess, vinyl. Um, and I have it actually taped down, and it's been working really well. I have a few ways I protect it when I'm stamping, either with just with scrap paper or my, um, these guys all the stamp and pierce mats um and i also have a bigger mat i'll show you later that is sometimes i'll bring over and i'll put it on and i know you guys have seen that um but i just like it. it it's better contrast than white and it just helps me see better um back here is my stampin cleaning chamois the chamois i forget the name of it um lovely isn't it <laughs> so that usually will stay there in some way, shape, or form. Really what happens is my table gets full and it's on top of a pile over here, under a pile over here, or somewhere. But in the perfect world, that's where it stays. Um, this is my silicone mat. I know you've heard me talking about this. This is just the best and again, it, it lives there but it lives wherever I stash it when I'm in the middle of something. I just added this. I've had that frame for a while and I'm thinking I'm going to repaint it, but I added a magnetic sheet on it. So what happens is when I'm doing my lives, I'll bring my big shot over here and I'll put it here. Um, as we keep the floss, that's funny, I just saw that Kristen. Um, I'll bring my big shot over here and 
I get, you know, dyes all over the place sometimes. So what I thought of was if I just do that as I'm doing my live or even just crafting, I can put, put them there and then, you know, I have them in a safe spot and then I can just put them away in their little cases afterwards. So I've only done that for about a week. So it's working okay. Um, I'm gonna move that again. And then here are the blendabilities. Again, another Stampin' Storage um, product. And you, they're so simple and you can paint them. Um, I haven't, I don't know that I will, but you can. Um, anyway, you can see it's all, again, in rainbow order. And it's most of the blends, not all of them. I just keep, you can fit two in a little section at a time. So obviously, obviously I do light and dark. Um, I used to have that in Steve, but I, I use them quite a bit and it's just been easier for me to have them on the table. The only thing is that when I am working and crafting, the table gets full. Oh gosh, what? Apparently you're Kristen Stampin' oh. Hero. Which idea, Kristen? Bill was just pointing this. Sonia says, love the magnet frame idea. My Stampin' Hero. <laughs> um, are we, Kristen, were you talking about the magnet thing? That's funny. Um, what I did get was a third little caddy because you can't have a, too many of the magnet. Yeah, yeah. It, I thought it was pretty genius myself. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So this is where, at least for the time being, I keep my blocks. They're all arranged in lovely order and they pretty much stay like that. Um, I have a couple of sponges stuffed back there to keep this in place. My open glue dots, uh, sticky notes, which I use very often. So those are right there. And then in here, the ink pads I have, I have the Memento, a Versamark and a Stazon. Obviously, mostly I use the Memento, but I often will use a Stazon and the Versamark, so those those are handy there. Um, down here, so this is also for when I do my lives, I'll bring my Big Shot plates over here and sometimes stash them there. So this is kind of Big Shot stuff, extra white cardstock, and this is, well, this is the sponge brayers. That's not really supposed to go there. Um, I also put some embossing stuff down here. So like this, this is my white embossing um, powder. I got this container at Michael's and I dumped one or two little tubs of our um, white embossing powder in there and I have a little plastic spoon. And so that's, um, it's easier. And I don't really know if it makes less of a mess, but that's kind of the idea behind it. And I have a, a one more container of the clear, I think. Okay, moving on. Yeah. So, Steve number two. Um, just gotta wait for Bill to get over here. So, Steve number two. Much more functional on this side. Um, okay, we'll go top to bottom. So, on the top, I have my all my ink refills, and I have them. It's two color families per little box. This is a little box that goes inside this little box. <laughs> That's how they come, but obviously I use them differently. Um, so in here I have the, what do I have? The brights and the subtles. Um, regals and neutrals. And then in here I have the in colors. Um, Whisper White, Memento, Versamark, uh, stays on. Um, so I have all of those in there and it, they just fit perfectly on top. Of yet again, another stamp and storage product. So this one was made specifically for the new, the new ink pads. Um, you'll see the, the older style ink pads that I have left of them are up here. Um, they, they don't really fit. I mean, you can squish them in, but there's, I'm not going to. Um, so slowly I've been switching over and I have a good handful left to go, but if I have some post rewards to kill or something, then I'll, I'll purchase a couple of, uh, 
ink pads. The other ones are perfectly fine. Um, and you can see, I'm, I'm quite proud of myself. I've done um, the rainbow, uh, rainbow order there as well. And I do have a written list of the one, the new pads I need. Here are the rest of my stamps from Love What You Do down to Winter Woods. So this will fill by the end of the year, uh, at least the stamping year. And then the rest will go down here. <laughs> There's a, this, there's all sorts of just random things that happen over time. I can't even explain it. Um, another thing from Stampin' Storage that I have is uh, the punch holder. I love this. It's fantastic. I mean, I do have, most of the stuff is current, but I do have my um, discontinued punches in here just because there's plenty of room for it. But it's amazing just to look and not have to open a drawer and go into a box like I was doing when I wanted to punch. It was just too much work. So now it's been great. Um, <laughs> so many of you know I'm a Buffalo Bills fan and they're not the best football teams. My sister got this for me for Christmas. It's a damn it doll so I can beat him when they lose. <laughs> they lose a lot. <laughs> I don't really beat them though. But that kind of felt good. Um, in here, I have a lot of random extra lights and whatnot for photos. Um, nothing even to really explain. I have no idea what's in this drawer. Nothing, because it's broken. Well, is it still broken? I think we fixed it, but just in case. Um, you can see up on the top, I've decorated, again, with some of the paint, paint your paint and sips or whatever they're called. I went to one and painted Winston one time. It was a little scary, but it was fun. Um, many of you know, I, I have not done this in a long time, but I used to be a very avid scrapbooker. So, um, this is where a lot of that lives, in here. Um, <laughs> that's retired Stampin' Up! Ribbon. Let's just start with that. Um, uh, these are, I think, all my finished scrapbooks, or at least close to it. My Stampin' Scoring Tool, I can't remember the name of it, is in here, along with my envelope punch board maker and things like that. Um, these are <laughs> the new slash old uh, ink pads. I've just kind of been stuffing them in there. I don't know really how I want to store those now. Uh, my brayers go in here alcohol because we need that to make the shimmer paint spray, my Stampin' Mist, the old Stampin' Scrubs. So just, again, kind of random stuff that I, I use very little. It's where I keep my little stash of bottles that I, I get from Amazon. Mm -hmm. And then we have contraband speck of paper. That's, that's what that is. That's all contraband and it's all years old. It's fun to look through. I did that the other day a little bit. Okay, um, go up to the wall, I guess. Well, that's gonna be upside down. Okay, so on this wall, I kind of have it, um, things that mostly I have made. Um, these were at team meetings at Colleen's house. Uh, she always had, um, she gave us initially an eight by eight frame, and then when we would go, I don't remember which meetings it was for, um, maybe the better your best or something like that. It wasn't her team meeting um, or some kind of event she had. Anyway, we would make an eight by eight page uh, to go in there. So we've had a couple of different ones. I made this as a sampler um, a couple of years ago for Christmas. We did that as a swap at, at one of Colleen's meetings. Um, for those of you who don't know, Colleen is my team leader. She is Colleen Magnus and she is fantastic. Um, so it was just fun, fun Christmas. And then this year, um, my dear friend Sonia, who might still be on here, and Chevy made me this sampler with the paper pumpkin from I think June, and they gave that to me for my birthday. So I've been meaning to show you Sonia it has a home right here and it goes perfect in my room. So thank you. Um, okay, so my other two carts. This is where I will emboss, heat emboss. 
Um, yeah, that's where I eat boss. Oh, I do have, yeah, there it is, a little tray that I use. Um, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Um, I guess down here, start and go bottom up, is the clear embossing powder. I think there's another white embossing powder. This is another silicone mat. It's rolled up, but it comes in handy. It, it was stamping up many years ago, um, and it comes in handy when you're gluing a lot of things. My old heat gun and a smaller ot light. Here is where most of my um, stamping embossing powders live, da dazzling diamonds, um, and a couple of extra, like the white, whisper white pad, extra versa mark and whatnot. Also my adhesive strips, which makes no sense. It's just kind of where they landed. Sometimes that's how things happen in here. <laughs> I mean, we have press and seal. I mean, a cutting board. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's in here? These are samples that, that are current, okay. Um, that are current tissues, pigment sprinkles, and um, uh, the embossing paste. Um, paper towels, always a must. So that, you know, this kind of changes. This is a stamparatus, so that pretty much lives there. It's because it's easy. Okay, moving on. Um, so this, Bill had given me the idea about doing this a while ago. I'll get down. This is, it's not all of mine. I haven't done that yet, but I, I sat down and did a bunch of them. So it's stamp sets paired with the dies. So that I can look over here and think, uh, what do I want to put on this card? And I have an idea of some of the, you know, dies that I have. Um, I got rid of, all, this was full, I got rid of a lot this year when the new catalog came. <laughs> Winston, huh, buddy? Um, so you'll, you know, I'll have to fill it up some more, but I have, again, the stamp set with the um, dies already cut out. Um, yeah, lots more to do there. My five-year pin, that's on there, yay. And then the 30th anniversary, that's fun. Up here, I just have some of the, my favorite cards that I've made over the years. I probably should put current stuff in there, but I just really like them. I switch them out every now and again. It's kind of a cute little thing. Um, ready? So, that's the best. Okay, so over here, a frame I got at Home Goods, and it's um, corkboard, not corkboard, but kind of corkboard. Um, these are the all the shapes except for the rectangles because those are too new. And the stitch, oh yes, stitch shapes are on here. So just the rectangles, I believe, that are are not on here. And hearts, I don't remember if we even have those right now. Um, you know, it's just to kind of look and see, like, well, what size will work. I don't use it as much as I thought I would but every now and again I do. This is like recent cards I've made from my lives. And in here is um, trainings, things like that that I do here and here. Keep all that, blank notebooks, and there's more in the closet. And then uh, old Stampin' Successes. And I, I keep like, usually I'll keep one of the, annual catalogs, one of the holiday catalogs, and one of the occasion catalogs for at least a handful of years. So that's probably what's behind there. I forgot to check that earlier. Okay, Big Shot. This is where Big Shot usually lives. Um, but you know, like I said, now that I do my lives, I bring it to the table sometimes. However, um, we have a little trash bin. We have spray in case we need to spray the paper. Another one of those little Ikea boxes heavy and this has all of my my dies that I can cut out and my um, embossing folders and these are all current so not they're excluding the annual catalog or holiday catalog sorry um, obviously big shops where she he lives it lives um, there's the mat I use sometimes to stamp on. I know you guys have seen that. In here, I have uh, magnetic sheets. What I do, let me show you. Um, okay, so what I do 
when I get and I start to use the um, embossing or excuse me the the dies is that's too big hold on um, stitch shapes has them okay as I actually you know store them still in the same envelopes in the sleeves that they came in I do put them on magnet sheets though um, those particular ones are from Amazon yeah Amazon but I absolutely have used dryer vents you can get right at Home Depot or Lowe's I like these better they hold a little bit better but I mean they're not really gonna go that far and then I don't I am not one of those people if you have seen those people who can take a whole wall and empty all of these out and put them all on a magnetic wall it just sends me into a panic sheer panic so that is how I do my dies and my embossing folders that's often a big topic on the Facebook groups um, this is where I keep all my my big scrap papers that we have the grid papers you see sometimes when we do uh do, when we do the um any events um i think those are old stampin up bags um and some contraband so in in my drawers <laughs> wax paper I don't know what this is. Magnetic adhesive strip. Oh, look at that, more. Some more Big Shot parts and pieces. This was the adhesive sheets. I kind of stocked up on those because they're very useful. This is note cards and envelopes and a lot of, well, again, I lost a lot of this stuff when um, the new catalog came so much of it retired, but I, uh, any little boxes that I get from Stampin' Up! or bags that I, I want to decorate, like gift boxes or something, typically goes in here. Apparently along with the googly eyes. Because that makes sense. That should be where the googly eyes go. <laughs> and I have a bit of a problem with Ziploc bags. But I recycle the ones that all of our goodies, not all of our goodies, but many of our goodies come in. Um, and also in here are some acetate boxes and things like that. Um, you know, these are retired, but they're really good for um, craft fairs, things like that. Yeah. Check that out. I think these are current. That's funny. Okay, over here, my Big Shot plates and scissors, my little Big Shot tool, the brush is over there. Um, for that so that's all that's in there if you send me a handmade card chances are it's in this drawer right here there's one or two other places I have them stashed so um, this is my brother label maker that came before the Dymo one and it's still really useful it's great for just you know labeling smaller things um, and, and those labels will come off pretty easy business stuff business cards order forms, things like that. And then, so down here is punches, punches, punches from way back from creative memories from like 20 years ago. Excuse me. Um, and then some old retired big shot stuff. And then this is where a lot of my business stuff lives. <laughs> you can see I don't have a ton of it. Um, the catalogs, things I'll bring when I go and do an actual workshop or some kind of event, my apron, garbage pails, um, card holders, picture holders, whatever you want to call them, um, different things in here. So that's where all of that lives. Okay. In the corner, I just got these today. Um, on the bottom is just some miscellaneous stuff that is not stamping related. And in the top, I know it says junk, but it's not. It's all my cards that I'm getting, look at this, from my uh, random act of card group, of kindness card group that I'm in, some that I've made, and these are pretty much current. So I was lucky to find that box today. And it's Ray Dunn. Who doesn't love some Ray Dunn? So this table is never, ever, ever this neat. This is where 
I pile everything and I'm in the middle of something. But when it does look like this, I have a Carl, cu Carl cutter and it's fantastic. So if you're cutting for classes and whatnot, it's just gonna save you oodles and oodles and oodles of time. Um, so if you do start doing classes and things, it's definitely worth the investment. Um, got my little board, letter board. I can change that up, obviously. Some light reading, Rachel Hollis. Gotta love her, girls stop apologizing. <laughs> She's great. And then um, this is my, my vision board for Stampin' Up. Um, you know, things that I want to achieve. I did not make Maui, but I'm doing some few new things in my business and I'm really happy about that. Um, my ultimate goal is to reach Silver Elite. I have many more Facebook likes and, um, you know, people watching and following along. So that's kind of exciting. Um, this is down here. I can take pictures on there, but I find on the white background, I think it actually turns greenish. It's a greenish hue because of the walls. Kristen so. wants to know why she doesn't know about that Carl cutter. Apparently you've been keeping secrets. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just had it. I just got it at Christmas. Um, yeah, yeah. She wants to know how it works. Um, well, I, you put a piece of paper in. Um, okay, so you pull it down. Let me grab a piece of paper. Hold on. Okay. Oh, you guys see Tucker? There he is, making an entrance. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and measure your paper. Obviously, there's a, a measure here. Push this down. Press on it ever so slightly, and boom. But you, the good thing about it is you can add, you can do a stack of papers. Um, I think I've only ever done like five or something but you can do quite a stack and just keep going back and forth and back and forth and that's what saves you time it's not good for teeny tiny pieces but it's really good for card bases and layers so i can give you the link and tell you more about that moving on to tucker's box you might be wondering why there is an empty stampin up box in my room and that would be the reason that's exactly what the box is there for and that's exactly what he does <laughs> Yeah, we have fun in Stampy Room, in my Stampy Room. Um, winding down a little bit. This is my calendar um, when I follow it. <laughs> so uh, it, it's just mostly just business stuff, things I want to remember, trainings, lives, meetings, all kinds of fun stuff. Pam says Tucker is awesome. Tucker is awesome. Thank you. He's so funny in there. He, uh, uh, he just owns the room. And that's it for the main room, and then there's the closet. Are you ready? Okay. I, I'm not going through this that thoroughly with you. It's shameful, and it's organized chaos, we'll call it. Um, there's a lot of things in here that need to be organized. Um, in a nutshell, everything retired is in here that I kept. Uh, I have a bookcase over here with retired stamps, Retired ink pads. Um, the, oh, I don't know if you can come in. I got this from Ikea as well. Can you get that? Um, I don't remember the name of that either, but it's just drawers. And you can see I just have retired different things in there, free inkers, embellishments, whatnot. Um, kind of random, but I, I really like that little case. Uh, this is just stuff, guys. Um, anything that I use for, yeah. Anything that I use for my um, vendor fairs, things like that, and then the stack of paper pumpkins that you might have seen. So that's it. That is my stampy room. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Let me know if you have any questions uh, about the way I store something, products that I got. I can try and find you links. Um, yeah, I just thanks for joining me. And next week we're gonna we're gonna talk Halloween. Have a great night, guys. Bye.